Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Eador, Master of the Broken World with No Fair Fight. We have nailed um, Beleth here, and I think we're just going to look around. I mean, we have all we need from this end of the uh, map. We're sieging those guys. We could try to take a little bit more land, though. Actually, I want this thing here. I mean, look at this. Uh, we continue the siege, we continue the siege, we continue to explore. That's all not helping. Let's take that one. We don't risk the help of our shop checks because we're, we're the good guys. We are definitely the good guys here. Okay, they have heavenly guards, they have forest spirits, they have forest spirits. We can get some more good karma from this point, giving them forest spirits as well. Our karma is at seven! Heaven, heaven, we have seven! Okay, uh, of course we engage them. We have something they totally like, and I hope, I sincerely hope, that these guys do not have a better initiative than... How? Can halflings have a better initiative than I have? That makes no sense. Okay. Kill that thing. That is really annoying. Did I say I hate you? Yeah, Baxter. What? That is unbelievable. Okay, uh... Well, at least that worked. That worked. Executioner's caught fire on the dwarf. And done. Excellent work. Resistance, of course. Uh, the defense, because our defense sucks. Continue the siege. We continue the siege. Abandoned temple. Swordsman, healer, monk. Actually, that is a good point where I can show what a mage can do. So, okay. They've got a mage, I've got a mage. First thing I do is I create a gargoyle, because I want the gargoyle to take the damage from the monk. And then we're doing nothing, we're just standing there. Oh well, we can... Um, no, actually we're doing nothing, we'll let them come. Let them waste their ammo. We must be careful. These guys are level... Level 10! Holy shit! That is terrible! You're kidding me. You're not telling me this guy just... Oh boy. Those are level 10 swordsmen. I didn't think of that. That could be a problem. Well, if you hit him, how much damage will you do? 1 to 4. Heal up our guy. Can you take him out? Oh yes, you can. Nice work. Always remember, swordsmen are defensive units. They live from the fact that they can um, counterattack better than they can attack. They're like, think of them as good pikemen. <laughs> because that's essentially what they are, good pikemen. Okay, you move through and hit that guy. 
you move through and hit that guy you move through hit that guy and I think we should try to hit those ones yeah the problem is we're doing absolutely no damage whatsoever oh shit I'm a moron this could have gone pretty pretty bad heal up our guy can we damage this guy a little good work yeah that is a fight oh damn it oh damn it damn it damn it damn it damn it you're good okay can you damage this guy yes you can problem is I'm doing very very little damage here now he's out of everything immobilized at least that's good good heal up the guy you get forward you get up the hill okay they're trying to get into close combat that's okay with me that's totally okay with me Close combat, no problem. Can you heal up our friend here? And you move forward. Essentially the um, monks should run out of ammunition. Now, why didn't I finish him off with the gargoyle? Because I want... The gargoyle has no benefit from taking out anyone. He's not getting anything at all. So that would make no sense. Okay, you go forward. You damage him a little and you take him out. You damage him a little, you damage him a little, and perhaps... Perhaps if we're very, very lucky, our guardsmen can do the job. That looks a lot like a bug. Okay, I think we have to do quick combat now. And we won. They're all dead and we won. Of course we want the healing, of course we want the attack. Well, that is of no use to us. Uh, yes. Excellent. What a province. Look at this. And it's not even fully um, equipped. 46 income from one province. That is just incredible. That's just unbelievable. Okay, is there anything we can do? Heavenly Light. That's nice because that gives good karma so let's do that karma is still at seven well what did I expect um, yeah not much more I can do cannot build anything can cast anything yeah assault the question Okay, everyone away, out of the way, out of the way. This guy must do his job. Ouch! You'll pay for that one. I forget that when you're in the fortification, you're getting plus one on range, because you count as higher ground, actually, which is impressive and useful. Hooray! Crap, crap, we take this one. Not that we need it. Continue siege, abandon farm. No, you cannot do that. Um, oh boy, what can we do? <gasps> boy, Mithril Curus. And that's excellent. Fair. Karma still seven. Well, what did I expect? Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. 
Okay, I think this shard is as good as done. Is there anything we can do to get more more karma somewhere? Well, I could dispense the heavenly guards. And buy myself some forest spirits here because every time you use it you're gaining karma but it didn't help. Okay, I sure as hell have no buildings that give karma, do I? No, no. Is, is there something like that gives you karma? No, I don't think so. Wall of the Ancients, Shrine of the Ancients, Population Mode plus 5, that's quite impressive. Shaman's Hut, Secret Monastery. Actually, that one here gives you a bonus to Karma. But I don't have plans for that, sadly. Ah, crap. That's how it goes, that's how it goes. Okay, so I think next time we'll end this shard and find a new one. See you then. Bye.